For the beginning of our journey today we will talk about what food is and why it is important to us. Nutrition is a basic need for every human being, and without it, a person's life would be impossible. Can you imagine? Let's eat, from the sun? Pretty unappeased. Let's get started. Nutrition is a set of all the activities of the body related to the reception, processing, and absorption of food. It includes the following processes. Food intake. Digestion. Resorption. Metabolism and stocking with energy and nutrients. Nutrition begins with food. Nutrition is the process by which the body nourishes itself by transforming food into energy and body tissues. The science of nutrition concerns everything the body does with food to carry on its functions. Food provides essential substances called nutrients. The body needs these nutrients to help it make energy, grow, repair, and maintain its tissues, and to keep its different systems working smoothly. Nutrition is important for all organisms. From nutrition, we switch to so-called nutrients. The nutrients are divided into six major types, carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. Each nutrient performs specific functions to keep the body healthy. All the nutrients work together to contribute to good health. Carbohydrates The body's main source of energy is carbohydrates, which include starches, sugars, and dietary fiber. The body breaks down starches and sugars into the simple sugar glucose, the fuel used by red blood cells. Glucose is also the main energy source for the brain and nervous system and can be used by muscles and other body cells. Fiber does not provide energy. Proteins Proteins are made of amino acids, small units necessary for growth and tissue repair. About one-fifth of the body's total weight is protein. Hair, skin, muscles, internal organs, and bones are made primarily of protein. Foods from animal sources, such as meat, poultry, fish, eggs, and dairy products, supply all the essential amino acids. These are complete proteins. Your body needs 20 different amino acids to grow and function properly. Though all 20 of these are important for your health, only 9 amino acids are classified as essential. These are histidine, isoleucine, leucine, lysine, methionine, phenylalanine, threonine, tryptophan and valine. Fats The different fats found in food are made up of fatty acids. There are four basic kinds of fatty acids, saturated, polyunsaturated, monounsaturated, and trans. Each has a different effect on blood cholesterol levels. In general, saturated fatty acids and trans fatty acids tend to increase one's risk of heart attack and other cardiovascular diseases. Polyunsaturated and monounsaturated fatty acids are thought to lower those risks. Studies have shown that a buildup of fatty deposits in one's arteries is common. Vitamins Vitamins are essential for good health. They help keep the body's tissues healthy and its many systems working properly. Each vitamin has specific roles to play. Many reactions in the body require several vitamins, and the lack or excess of any one can interfere with the function of another. Although vitamins are needed in only small amounts, the basic vitamins the body needs are, vitamin A, vitamins from the B group, vitamin C, D, E, and K. Minerals Many people rightly think of rocks when they hear the term minerals. Minerals are also found in soil, metals, and water. To one's body, minerals are another group of essential nutrients, needed to regulate body processes and fluid balance. Minerals also give structure to bones and teeth. Minerals can be divided into two categories, major and trace, depending on how much the body needs. Major minerals, which are needed in larger amounts, include calcium, phosphorus, magnesium, sulfur, sodium chloride, and potassium. Trace minerals, or trace elements, include chromium, copper, fluoride, iodine, iron, manganese, molybdenum, selenium, zinc, and cobalt. Almost all foods contribute to a varied intake of essential minerals. Water Water takes an active part in many chemical reactions in the body. It is also needed to carry other nutrients, to regulate body temperature, it protects your tissues, spinal cord, 
and joints, it helps prevent constipation, it helps with nutrient absorption, it helps keep skin bright, it prevents overall dehydration and many others. About 50 to 60 percent of the body is water. Requirements for water intake can be met in many ways, such as drinking plain water, fruit juices, milk, and soups. Many fruits are about 90 percent water. And to continue, the term nutrition can also refer to the quality of someone's food choices, or diet. A balanced diet is one in which foods are eaten regularly provide all the nutrients needed in the right amounts. A balanced diet has many benefits. It can help people feel and look their best. It can also help them stay energetic and healthy, both in the short term and later in life. Food intake takes place through the oral cavity, where the digestive process begins. For 15 to 20 seconds, food is processed mechanically and chemically. With the help of human saliva, food begins its degradation. Wait we have a question for you, do you know how many salivary glands are in the human oral cavity? Think about it later in the video. Mechanical processing is the rupture of food with teeth, crushing and so that it becomes a bite ready to pass through the esophagus of the person. At the same time, chemical processing is activated through saliva, which lets food, makes it softer, and begins the first degradation of some of the substances. The food continues to slide down the esophagus for an average of 5 to 15 seconds depending on the food, how it is processed, how long it is chewed, and etc. Once the food gets into the stomach there it becomes serious. Once digestion begins, it can last for hours as long as there is food in the stomach and stops only after its complete emptying. Chemical treatment by the gastric juice poured on it continues. Here we will say a few words about gastric juice without going into details. It is a colorless liquid with a characteristic smell and a strong acidic reaction, pH 1.5. Gastric juice is a collection of acids, after gastric juices digest food in the stomach to a cashew consistency, it passes into separate portions in the duodenum, where three new juices are poured on it, pancreatic, biliary and intestinal. Food continues to the small intestine, nutrients are degraded and digested. Here on the treated food is poured separated from the glands of the small intestine intestinal digestive juice. Intestinal juice has a light yellow color and alkaline reaction, pH 8. About 2 liters of intestinal juice is released in one day. Only indigestible ingredients, water, and part of digestive juices reach the large intestine. The large intestine has two main functions, suction of water and discharge of feces. The main function of the large intestine is to extract water from ground food and direct it to the bloodstream. As a result, the food with the consistency of porridge turns into feces. They are a mixture of unground residues of products from the vital activity of the intestine and numerous microorganisms. In the colon live two types of bacteria, ones that break down carbohydrates and ones that break down proteins. These bacteria dissolve cellulose and the result allow the body to use the contents of plant cells. Also, microorganisms in the large intestine protect the body from the breeding of various types of mold. Oh! As for the first video it was quite difficult, but every effort we make is to introduce you to the basic principles of food, its properties, and other various interesting facts. Do you remember that at the beginning of the video we asked you a question? We asked you how many salivary glands are. And here's the answer. They are three pairs of large salivary glands dash. 1. Earbuds 2. Bottom jaws 3. Sublingual Through saliva, only carbohydrates can be degraded. This was from us for today. In the next video, we will talk about plants as food. Expect more videos from us and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel to support us. See ya in the next video.